Hey everyone, what is up YouTube? YouTube, how's it going y'all? Sparky Mark and Mark here and we're back to do a review and unboxing. Now what do I have in here? Anyone doesn't know? Well, today's my birthday. We know. What the let's take a look what's inside this year box. Opening with this. Now, well, with that opening out of the way, let's 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 see what's in here right now. Don't worry, nothing right now. Just hold on. What the fudge? Oh, there is pallets. Wait a minute, it's not in here. Let's head to the man cave, like now. Oh yeah, before unboxing, you're going to be looking at a certain timepiece from tw the summer of 2020, which we all know was a dumpster fire of a year, but let's not forget it was the celebration for Jaws. It marked its 45th anniversary. Who can't forget Jaws? But let's be clear, we're, we're going to be reviewing a G-Shark watch, but... Even though it was a dumpster fire of a year, we had some good physical media releases, we had some good soundtracks, we also got uh, some stuff coming around that point, but even though we were all struggling with jobs and everything, and uh, among other things, and Jaws got its love of 4K release. It got its 4K UHD, superb transfer, uh, support, uh, what was the word? A superb transfer. 4K scan on the Blu-ray, 4K UHD scan on the 4K. Amazing scan of the film. They did a great job with it. Magnificent. You can't deny it. So what you're looking at here, everyone, so discussing with Jaws, but that's, we're done with that, but discussing here for this particular G-Shock, this came out in the summer 2020, like I mentioned. And this is part of the Psychedelic Colors edition. Of course, you could tell so these are definitely Psychedelic Colors, including this like uh, light blue, light purple, and diff you know, and this one could represent, this is definitely Psychedelic Colors, but when I'm looking at this, I'm looking at something from the 90s. Hmm, when people had crazy wardrobes back then, heck, I'm a 90s baby, but I was born 91. But anyways, this is what you're going to be looking at, folks. And enough chit-chats and hullabaloos. Let's get to the watch. Like, right now, let's take a look at the watch. What are we about to see? This is going to be one of the two colors. Mm. You, may, uh, you may or may not know which one it is. But you're going to see it. Like now. Now let's see the model of this watch. Oh, there it is. This is it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Casio G-Shock DW5900DN-3DR on the psychedelic colors, y'all. I got in 2020. card very important the manual yes very important indeed let's pop the top like Mike 835 would say pop the top or pop a lid After 
this video, I'm going to show you the, the glow on this one, along with the along with its brother from 2018, but in a different color. If you hear me talking about the 5900, I've been around for like ever, and it's been a bit crazy. And they released variations from the holiday colors of red, red, green, and huh, red, green, and put a little black. You got yourself Christmas. And they released variations in yellow. They released it in like metallic like colors. And then this, giving it a psychedelic color. I call it a 90s because, man, it's all right because I'm saved by the bell. Huh. Who doesn't even know anything about Saved by the Bell? That was a great show back then and its reunion and rest in peace to Dustin Diamond, Screech Powers. Hmm. Let's see the modes. Uh, just how it is. Of course, what's missing? The timer. And... You got your alarms, which you already know from two, three, four, snooze, signal, back to your alarm one. <clears throat> so yeah, let's see if there's a test screen. Hmm. Push three buttons together and, huh, looks like you gotta push these three and look at the test screen. Perfect. Nothing to lie. Nothing to kid around. Okay. So, like, uh, so yeah, you already know about the history of the 5900 going back to like 30 years ago or 32 years ago, whichever of those two, 1990 or 1992. Uh, we already got, we already know its history. Back then, these did not have micro lights or future EL backlights. These were just your basic watches with positive displays. And then uh, when electromedicine backlight came around, these became disposables. Maybe these could be other things. But these are collectibles, considering the original, its predecessors. And there was an analog version of this watch. But again, I might have mentioned that in a different video in the review of the other 5900 from 2018. So, yeah, I mean, the design and look, you've got to admit, the 5900 made a good comeback, and I'm glad I got two. Make that three with the all-negative display, the blackout version. And let's see what kind of band is this number. Is that a... Yes! Ah. Mm-hmm. If I could just tell this correctly, that this is, yes, a 304 strap. That's right, a 304 strap, GD3, uh, a, G, a GD1. 304 strap, GD1. That's what it is, everybody. Let me see the buckle, where it is originated from. Let me see this year buckle. It says here... Casio Thailand, hmm. but we know this brand is Japan. Let's not kid around. And all in all, it's kept true to its roots from th three decades ago. All those three decades, and we finally got it. Take a look at this very, very carefully, y'all. It's beautifully well thought out. Awesome buttons, nothing to lie. Perfect design, but it is a negative display though. The light purple version, light purple and different design, it has a positive display. But I don't give a shit. I like positive and negative. Kind of gives it a bad ass, don't you think? Enough chit chat. Let's get to the music.
all y'all that joined your the vid, I know I have, and this is indeed an incredible piece. Fits well with rap music since such a rock and roll, whichever genre of music it is. And anything more, today's my birthday, y'all, which you already heard, and I'm 31. So anyways, subscribe to my channel, be notified of all new uploads, especially if you guys want me to do a review of the big boy brands like maybe Rolex or Omega. Follow me in the channel. And anything else I've been learning already, and more on about videos and more videos to come. So anyways, this is Sparky Mark and Mark signing off. Y'all take care. God bless you. Catch you on the next vid. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday.